Hello everyone, welcome back to Abundant Automation, where we are standing amidst an unfinished copper station. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it and get to work on that. Mm, yeah, so there isn't really any, any big wisdom to be gained here. We're going to be pretty much doing the exact same thing we did up here. Which will involve what exactly? I'm gonna need a couple of smart inserters, but we already do have some. A couple of steel chests too. We can produce them in our pockets. And then the rest is just some simple beltage. Alright, so let's do this. So are you already backed up all the way? Let's test again. All right, now you are. And then... That's seven, and... Another seven. All of you are going to be copper. Now there's really no uh, big surprises here. We're going to do the exact same thing we did over there. And get ourselves a nice... Iron unloading, a uh, nice copper unloading station, rather. And then we're gonna go up there and actually tie some copper in here. And then that will hopefully see us through with the with the resource problems for at least a little bit. All right, we did finish researching substations, which is a with which is a boon because it means we are not restricted uh, not restricted to medium power poles in this and then we're going to do this exact same thing all right attaching the final the final outputs here is not a big concern right now so up there we did bring in one more one more tile and then we did put in the curve let me just quickly remove this part so let's see if we can't come mm, we need to go from here that's fine too all right so that's that we'll need one one signal here. It's pretty much doesn't matter where it is. This will make the junction clear faster. Not that it really matters, because all of the all of the signals, all the entry signals to that block are chain signals anyway. And now what we're going to do is just the same thing once again as up there. which is giving ourselves a nice little stacker here for our copper trains to wait for their turn. It's nice to see that Smart Trains is still doing its work. Let's see, where do you have to go? That's about there. And then we'll need to reverse. I can probably just count the number of tiles that we have on here. So starting with that one, we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, including the tile that contains the joints. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's our join. Now I'm really starting to starting to feel the the need
need to get myself a, a power armor, but for the time being we'll have to we'll have to do without. I highly doubt we would be able to uh, to get the tech. Well, not really the tech. Well, the tech is a thing. Well, but much of the production done without um, without any new supply of copper. So copper is definitely high up there on the list. So that's our copper station done and dusted. We will have to figure out a a new way to deal with this with this stone line eventually. I mean, sometime in the future we'll probably have um, a coal and a stone station somewhere over here, and then we're just gonna. Uh, we are just going to be bringing in the stone directly from the east. Mm, but for now, it's here. So, let's just work with what we have and use these, these pieces of underground to put in our signaling. Not the prettiest, but meh. Alright, and now for the connection. Like I already said, this isn't going to be anything fancy. We're not dealing with huge throughput just yet. And once we do, we can always change it. And the point is that once we do deal with large throughput here, For one, we'll have power armor, and we're gonna, we're going to be having pocket robots or even main base uh, construction bot coverage up here, which will make any uh, any sort of construction a breeze. Well, at least compared to what we're doing right now. And the second point is maybe maybe this base won't even be getting up to the point of uh, uh, words getting up to the point of high throughput which has me saying maybe we won't be making this the final form of the factory but that's neither here nor there don't know anything about that yet so let's not speculate all right so, um, so that's a join, that's just a regular, regular old chain signal crossing, same as here. Oh, we do seem, oh, shit's getting blown up. We'll need to inspect this. So it seems like one object was destroyed, it's one of the, one of the turrets over there. Let me grab some more then. Right, but other than this, we only need one additional piece here. No, that's not connected. And that should be that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brilliant, because we do have um, logistics coverage over there. It's now constantly beeping. Oh yeah, one thing that you might be asking uh, with regards to this stacker is why I didn't do a stacker that... Um, so I might as well just have this inbound rail come up here and go through instead of having it go down here and then up again, essentially. And the reason for that is it's... Well... There hasn't been anything conclusive on this, but as far as I'm aware, with staggers like this, it can happen that trains won't, just won't take up a lane in a stacker if it's, if it deviates, if the path they would be taking deviates too much from the path they need to be taking to the station. So, in other words, if the inbound track would come along this way, then the bottommost rail, the bottommost track would or might not get utilized at all because it's seen as too much of a detour from uh, from the straight path to the station. 
which is why I like to build the stackers in a way that you essentially have equal length equal length paths to to the station. All right, let's let's deal with this with this annoying beeping issue up there. On that note, I probably also want to tie in the oil network into this one so that we can bring over the fall. Hmm, that's very interesting. This doesn't even seem to be a a copper issue. Also not a power issue. So maybe we should just attach a couple more a couple more of these. Let's do that real quick. I think we can deal with a bit of beeping for two minutes. Mm, yeah. I think we can do that. Oh, ten assembly machines more than enough too. Let me grab some more of them. Also, what are we missing here? It's just copper. Let's craft some more of you. Alright, so how much space do we need to leave here? If we put you there, then you would insert there. Mm. Would that work? Like so? Oh no, of course it wouldn't. So what we're gonna have to do... So the closest we could have would be like so. But then we'd have proximity problems here. Because we can't, can't probably feed this into the main line. So, yeah, this is what would happen. So that's what we'll do. And then come along like this. And all of this is going to move over by a few squares. And then that's our final layout, or our final tiling, so to say. Alright, once again, the middle ones are green circuits, you are copper cables. And then it's just a lot of inserters taking iron from there. Hmm. All right, so far so good. Let's copy over these settings for the chests before I forget. We're not buffering any any circuits right now, but, well. I had one too many occasions on which I had to deconstruct had to deconstruct an assembly line with full steel chests of certain goods, and, well, I certainly don't want to do that again. Right, uh, you will be going, no, you'll be going that way. And then that's how the, this whole business will look. And all we need is a bit of power. Hmm, where do we want to connect this? I don't even know. Let's do it up here. I've also been quite lazy with the lamps, I have to say. But then again, I didn't really find them too much of a necessity with the more lights mod. So if you have any problems with, uh, with visibility, then just let me know. And I will do my best to illuminate the situation a bit better. All right, now having alleviated this, hopefully having alleviated this 
green circuit shortage a bit. We shall venture over to oil number one. Also, why are you taking iron plates away from me? I must have accidentally put them into the trash. Oh yeah, look, look at this. That's a very healthy supply, a very he healthy stockpile of crude oil. Definitely a nice thing to have. All right, now I think we'll just have a quick jog over there. No point in uh, in going by train. All right, so where is the problem here? All right, that's quite a sizable attack force. They seem to have been coming from the north. And they wanted to come down here. So what we'll do is, well, first of all, we're going to put this one in again. Then we're going to repair these two. And then, then we're going to tear this one open. And just put in another set of, another set of turrets. Oh, maybe it would have been a prudent idea to bring some ammunition. Well, now we get to have another look at the beautiful scenery along the southern coast of Lake... <sighs> lake what? What should we call this lake? If any idea of the matter. Maybe it isn't even a lake. Maybe it's the open seas. Beyond which great riches beckon, or something like that. Oh, there we go. Speed module number three. Let's also get some efficiency modules on the go. Still think the power armor, the pursuit of power armor, will be our top priority. Unsurprisingly. Right, also, why do I have <clears throat> so much copper ore here? Yeah, I keep getting distracted, but that's that's just Factorio in a nutshell for you. It's the, the game of a million distractions. You always have something that needs to be done, something that appears to be urgent but really isn't. Uh, like, for instance, running just aimlessly through your factory and totally forgetting what you were doing. All right, more ammunition, please. And then let's get back up there. Now, oil products are pretty pretty nicely backed up right now. We are really, really only limited by copper right now, which is a good thing to be limited by because we are about to get more. be very cautious about not getting run over here. You should be able to well maybe maybe there's a mod for this. Oh let's come on, let's let's take these on our suit ourselves. <laughs> maybe not with a pump gun. Um you should be able to uh to put like a, a signal horn on trail, uh, on track, train track, so that it will just give you a big fat honk <laughs> when where there's a train arriving, and you're standing near the near the tracks. I think that would be great. I, I don't even know. Can you can you mod sounds into the game? I don't know. If so, that would be a great one to have. Right. Yeah, it's occurring to me that I'm that I'm not really using a lot of the commodities factories that I have put down. But that's in part due to the fact that I'm 
not having a functional logistics system operation uh, operating. But we'll fix all of that in due time. And I think the next order of business, as I already said, will be connecting this up. I think we'll have to do a bit of a bit of a fancy fancy bend here to get to where we want to go. But that's going to have to be in the next episode, because sadly, our time is up. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Descrient, and I shall see you soon.